Hey, where are you going? I don't like your attitude, man. What the hell is with this guy? Where do you think you're going at 4 o'clock in the morning? I'm going to find a motel. What? A, a fucking cheap motel, man. Just let me take you to your sister's. No, you don't understand. I can't stay there, all right? I just can't. It's cold. Well, help me out, then. Tell me where I can find a motel. And it's got to be cheap, because I'm on a $100 budget. All right. All right, you can come stay with me, but only for tonight. All right, I appreciate that, man. You know, all this time we've been dating. Darlene never mentioned having a brother. <laughs> so, you'll forgive me. If I ask you this again, I was not in the right frame of mind a couple minutes ago. Uh, what brings you to Cincinnati at 4 o'clock in the morning? I, I, it can't be Darlene. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I had this free ticket, so I figured I'd come on out. You know. Where from again? Dayton. You mean Daytona? No, Dayton. Dayton, Ohio. That's like 45 minutes from here. Yeah. So you decided to fly. Well, yeah, I had a free ticket. Why not go to Florida, Arizona, someplace warm? Well, I don't know those places, but I know Cincinnati. Okay, so uh, how long are you staying? Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, I don't really have a return ticket. Uh-huh. And I kind of like to get back later today. Today? So, just between you and me. <laughs> between you and me? Yeah. I think I've seen all I need to see. And Besides, maybe the timing wasn't right. But uh, I kind of appreciate it if you could give me a ride back home. I mean... Like you said, Dayton's only 45 minutes from here, you know. <laughs> That's a good one, buddy. Hey, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm serious, man. I'm for real, man. I, I need a ride. <laughs> so you've seen all you need to see. Yeah. Timing wasn't right. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. Your timing is worth shit because I'm about two seconds away from throwing your ass out the goddamn door. Well, calm down, man. I don't understand. I just need a ride back home. Shut up before I lose all control. Fine. Just take me to bus station and I'll buy a ticket. All right, that's it. You've done it. Now nah, you've gone and done it. There is no way you are staying the night at my house. I'm calling Darlene to collect your dumbass. Oh, you can't do that. Watch me. Uh, that isn't a good idea, man. Have you ever seen Darlene when she gets woken up in the middle of the night? Do you honestly think I give a damn? Her car isn't working, man. Ah, got you covered there. Here's what's going to happen. She takes what is commonly called a taxi over to my house. Takes my car with you in it back to Dayton. Brings my car back. Takes yet another taxi back home. Oh, and by the way, you're picking up the taxi fare. She's going to be royally pissed. Oh. Well, you got me shivering all over. She's here. You better answer that. Fuck this you. Calm Lizzie. down, Darlene. The lazy fucking son of a bitch! Darlene, you better relax, honey. Who the hell do you think you are waking me up in the middle of the fucking morning? You know how cold it is out there? Eric, let go of your sister and take care of the taxi. I can handle her. Alright. Thank you, you can handle me. Would you like a cup of coffee? No. Why don't we settle this in the living room? Why? Let's just settle it right here. We can't settle it right here because Eric's luggage is in the living room and I need you to pick it up. Take it 
Easy, boy. I have to get up for work in four hours. I have a system. I have a schedule. I can't plan for unannounced visitors who, who can't even go to their own sister's house because there isn't enough oxygen. Don't you fucking say shit about my house or the way I choose to live. You haven't even let me see your damn house. Because, like you, Richard, I have a system. I have a schedule. And maybe I'm not ready to let you become part of that. Why the hell not? I told you she'd be pissed, man. Okay, I don't want to hear another fucking word from you. I don't remember this conversation ever concerning you. Why don't you fucking say shit to my brother, you yeah. selfish, stingy asshole? Oh, yeah? Fine. Take my keys, take my car, hey, get to, him the fuck out of here. You need to chill out, man. I'm not driving anywhere until you fucking apologize. Yeah, man. What's the matter? You too afraid to apologize to the lady, you chicken shit? Shut the hell up, the both of you. Oh, what's the matter? Are we bruising your ego? Selfish fucking bastard. Just shut up! That's why you fucking cared about me. Yeah, you know what? You're scum, man. I don't want you dating my sister anymore. Sh sh shut up, you, you... 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 You what? Say it, you coward! I want you both out of here. Oh, no. Not until you apologize. Sick freaks! What was that, Richard? Yeah, you chicken shit. You're useless. You don't fucking care about anybody but yourself! I hate you. Oh, say it loud, Richard. Tell me how you really feel I... I hate you! Oh, you think you're better than us, you little man? Come on, Richard. Let it all out of the closet. Yeah, you freak. You're the freak. You're the miserable little jerk-off who doesn't give a shit about anyone. Jerk-off. You fucking dork. <laughs> Nobody cares about you, freak. Fuck face. Asshole. Oh, you suck. You're a dick, Richard. You little jerk-off who don't want to... <laughs>